you have been constantly innovating by adopting various sounds from all over the world. What is it that, that drives you to innovate? Just the sheer love of music? Well, I don't look at it as innovation, really. I try to play what you know feels good and what I hear that feels good. It's not just a matter of innovating, it's a matter of just experimenting, you know. I like to experiment. Well, well, well. <laughs> Thank you. How do you know about that? You know, on a flat plate, that's interesting. I play, you know, according to what I, f I feel like playing. I, it's, it's just a, it's, it's kind of like school. It's like, it's, 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 it's experimenting with things to see what works, you know. That's basically what it is. Not so much innovating so much. Because I don't think there's anything new. I think it's just a matter of finding what you want to do and doing it, you know, I guess. Yeah. I guess it's kind of, a, by the same token, a sort of a learning experience. You go out of your way to seek out uh, foreign forms of music, forms that are foreign to you, I should say. Well, Until not really. Doing, no. Are you, I, for you look for a common thread? Yeah, a common thread in what already seems to fit. And you can hear a thing for the first time and realize that it fits with what you already know. If it's too foreign, it's foreign. You know, if a guy comes down the highway playing a pygmy nose flute, I say, wow, that's pretty wild, but I don't know what to do about that. So I'm a practical person, you know. But if it seems to fit what's already there, then it may be something you can, you know, enjoy or kind of have fun with, you know, and mess around with a little bit. But it has to fit a pattern, it, the, the, a musical pattern that I hear in my head. I think that's how it works. I think that's how, I don't know. Um, how would you define the, the, the common thread there to what you've pursued so far? I, I don't know how to define them. I mean... The only way I know to, to establish, the only way I know to, to, to uh, put brackets around it is that there's a kind of a, you know, an atmospheric quality the stuff that I liked. It seems to take you to a place where you can imagine you are. It's like being in a meditative state, you know, and your mind just goes there, and it's a good feeling. Like, I like, see, because, I mean, you can be anywhere and hear music or play it, and, and you're instantly... <laughs> One of those five-minute jobs. You're not on the 45-minute side. Proceed. <laughs> so, I mean, anyhow, I have, like anybody does, you know, um, some area where the, your mind wants to go, your your, your energy wants to go, and, and that's that. There are there's music that takes me to that that place, and it's just a matter of preference. I think this mm -hmm. has to push the right buttons. And what that is, how to define it, I really don't know exactly what it is, because it can be something I've never heard before. If it comes to me and goes there, then that must be the thing. You know? mm -hmm. I don't exactly know what it is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know. Um, the forms of music you've dealt with can be more, uh, um, I don't know if traditional is the word, but you seem to have avoided more of the recent street culture, recent, uh, meaning over the last 10 or 20 years or so. Uh, I mean, the more obvious examples, you see like a punk you would never touch, maybe uh, hip-hop you haven't really done anything with. I don't know what I don't know how to do that stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. people who do that, they know what it is. Yeah. When they make it up, kids especially, they know what they're doing. It's like I can skateboard, but I can't skateboard like real skateboarders do. You know, they make stuff up and they do it. I mean, I, I make up what I do and I do that. I mean, uh, hip hop and rap and and um, all that kind of thing. It's out there and it exists, but it's for and by the people who live in that atmosphere. That's their atmosphere. You know, their little air bubble they have around them all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't all of us live in the same space, so we all sing and play the same stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, when dealing with people who've, uh, who are known experts in other forms of music, do you ever feel like you're being treated as an outsider or an exploiter? I'm not for that at all, yeah. Whenever, like working with uh, another form of, uh, of music, oh. um, like outside of the United States, let's say, uh, do you think you've ever seen it as an exploiter? By those people? Yeah, oh. or an outsider? Well, I've never had experience a bad experience with, with people. I mean, the thing is, if you come to them with a the knowledge and appreciation for what they do, 
then they and, and it's an honest thing and they 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 feel that especially musicians feel when you're on the right track mm -hmm. so if you go and say you know I've learned something about what you do which I always made the attempt to uh, get a hold of it get a handle on it and say you know I've come this far can we get together somehow you don't even have to talk about it so nobody in music would look at you and say you're an imposter you're uh, you're you know you're some kind of an exploiter a neo-colonial uh, robber baron here you know or stealing my music I've never had that happen um, see because I mean it's all a matter of how you walk in if you walk in with the right mental attitude people pick that up and if you walk in with the wrong mental attitude they pick that up in half a minute too uh, they just have to be you know working on, on, on an equal level with everybody because musicians by nature love to share what they do I really have found that and if you sit down and say hey let's play and it's and you can do it well and you do it with empathy then they feel that and you have a nice experience When it comes to uh, creating your own music, which includes approaching other people, approaching other forms of music, do you set any rules for yourself? Like you talked about uh, going into it sincerely, doing your homework beforehand. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any other rules you apply to uh, no. music? No. See, I don't approach other people and their music so much as it seems. I mean, it's mostly just me playing and doing whatever it is I think I'm supposed to do. If I'm doing a movie score or making a record, I'm just playing, and whatever is in my head is what's going to come out. Now, once in a while, I'll hear something, and I'll think, well, I better check out and see what that is. So I go over here to see what this guy's up to, you see. And uh, sometimes people are receptive, and sometimes they're not. There's no rule except keep your eyes open, and, and like I said, you know, walk walk slowly and humbly and be with that and then you might find somebody didn't care whether you were there or not and sometimes people are interested I mean uh, I don't think there's any rules for it except the music comes first that's the basic rule you know if you say I'm first mm -hmm. then everybody uh, later for that guy you know? mm -hmm. yeah. okay. um, are you very familiar with the work of David Byrne yeah well I've heard it you know and um, I'm not exactly sure what the approach is, but as he puts it, maybe his uh, motives uh, are a little bit different from yours, and that he kind of tries to perceive what it is people want now, mm. and then goes out of his way to get other people to create that sound, mm. uh, just for the purpose of, of being contemporary. Jeez, I, I really couldn't say. Mm. I mean, I, I don't know anything about him. I've seen him and talked to him a couple of times, but... Uh, he uh, he may be that way. I don't know. I don't listen too much to Burn. I, I don't. I, I hear it on the radio. Yeah. I've seen the videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know. Do you see him as an experimenter along the same lines? I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you know, he has a goal. Mm -hmm. He seeks to somehow, you know, make up a thing like we all do. All musicians have the same. Good musicians, you know, honest musicians have the same idea, I think, which is to go somewhere with their ability and to push it out as far as they can. What exactly is on Bird's Burns mind? I, I don't, I don't really know. It's hard to say. Yeah. Uh, how would you differentiate yourself from artists like uh, Sting, uh, Paul Simon, and Peter Gabriel, who have taken third world forms of music? and integrated them into, well, sometimes, uh, message songs. Mm -hmm. For example, Peter Gabriel did the song Pico. Mm -hmm. um, Paul Simon, of course, took that whole yeah. uh, took, you know, uh, singing group on the road with him. Right. Um, how do you compare yourself to guys like that? Yeah, it's not good to compare people one to another, but I mean, uh, I, so I don't, I don't think about me and them one way or another, except it's obvious. You want to talk about like uh, Paul Simon? What he did was he did do one great thing, and that was he brought that of African music out to people who never would have heard of it. And we all had Lady Smith Black Mombazo records, but it was a small thing. It was like very esoteric, and then all of a sudden, bang! So he he got 
those people out of out of the country and got them out of town. I guess it's kind of a, by the same token, a sort of a learning experience. You go out of your way to seek out uh, foreign forms of music, forms that are foreign to you, I should say. Come well, not really. Doing. No. Are you, I, for, you look for a common thread? Yeah, common thread. Mm -hmm. What already seems to fit. And you can hear a thing for the first time and realize that it fits with what you already know. If it's too foreign, it's foreign. Mm -hmm. You know, if a guy comes down the highway playing a pygmy nose flute, I say, wow, that's pretty wild, but I don't know what to do about that. So I'm a practical person, you know. But if it seems to fit what's already there, then it may be something you can, you know, enjoy. Or It's, it's, it's experimenting mm -hmm. with things to see what works, you know. Mm -hmm. That's basically what it is. Not so much innovating somebody. Because I don't think there's anything new. I think it's just a matter of finding what you want to do and doing it, you know, I guess. Yeah. You have been constantly innovating by adopting various sounds from all over the world. What is it that, that drives you to innovate? Just the sheer love of music? Well, I don't look at it as innovation, really. I try to play what, you know, feels good and what I hear that feels good. It's not just a matter of innovating, it's a matter of just experimenting, you know. I like to experiment. Well, well, well. <laughs> Thank you. What do you know about that? You know, on a flat plate, that's interesting. I play, you know, according to what I, f I feel like playing. I, it's, it's just a, it's, it's kind of like school. It's like, it's, 